Hello, welcome. Did you have a nice little pee and a little poop? If you behave, I give you treats. You don't behave, you don't get no treats. Okay? You look like you're gonna behave. Oh, I forgot you can climb up there now. Some of you might know me as a plant dad. I have loved plants for the longest time and you know, a couple of years ago when I finally got my own place, I got myself my own plants and I've been taking care of them for years and years. Some have died, but most have stayed alive, okay? Now, I am not just a plant dad as you would have seen in the last video. I am also a dog dad. I have a now three month old puppy who's trying to bite me and um, she is amazing. She is the love of my life even though she works on my nerves this week i come to you with a weirdly highly requested video ever since people found out that i got a puppy and that is to just talk about what to expect uh when you do get your puppy or rather things to think about before uh you get a puppy because a lot of people are like i've been thinking about it too but i never actually decided to do it and you know what i was the same as you i also thought about it for a long long time before i eventually finally did it and i am so glad that I did but I do have a couple of things that I need you to think about before you take the plunge yourself okay sir trying to make a YouTube video jeez can't get looking rigorous my champagne but I'm rigorous my campaign looking rigorous whole team hella rigorous lifestyle so rigorous hairstyle so rigorous the top five ain't rigorous if you left out this rigorous so the first thing that you're gonna probably have to think about is space right do you have the space to actually have a puppy that can enjoy themselves around your house around your complex wherever it is this was probably one of the biggest reasons why i didn't get a puppy for a long time was because i never felt like i had adequate space now that i have a house i think she has more than enough space inside or outside so you really have to think about that how big is your apartment are you on the second floor are you on the first floor are you going to be able to take them out for potty breaks are you happy with them pooping and peeing on your balcony so really give that some thought um, I only really got comfortable with that when I got a house and I think she's pretty happy she runs around outside she runs around inside it's a lot to handle when she's running around the the lounge at 7 p.m with the zoomies but um I could never really complain come sit sit good girl the second thing i want you to think about is the time commitment now i must be honest i knew that dogs were a lot of responsibility and yet i still wasn't ready for how much time i need to give her i probably figured i need to give her maybe 60 to 65 percent of the amount of time that i do give her now you know i give her 100 percent now but I was only imagining like 60% of this effort would need to go into taking care of a puppy. But they're a baby. They're literally a baby. And I always knew that. That was one of the reasons why I didn't want to get a puppy in the first place is because I was scared. I was like, it's literally like sit down, sit, come, come, sit, sit. You know you don't get treats unless Enzo... Good girl. Uh, I forgot where I was now. She's so distracting. But time is so important, guys. Time is so, so, so important. For the first maybe a month that I had her, I almost never left her. I almost did not leave her at all. It took me a whole month before I was comfortable leaving her for an hour. And that's just because I knew that's how long she sleeps anyway. So put her in a crate, leave her there. Uh, but you really have to think about it, the time commitment. Are you going to be able to take them out for walks? Are you going to be able to feed them on time? Because they need structure in their lives. They need to eat at the same time every single day. And so uh, you kind of need to be home for that. So I don't know, the uh, students that have asked me, I wouldn't say it's a good idea to have a pet unless you have somebody who's going to to take care of them at home specifically a puppy right that needs a lot of attention uh, so for students not so much for people who are just starting jobs not so much for people who have nine to fives probably not the greatest idea unless there is somebody at home my partner is the one who initially wanted this puppy she works in nine to five and so i'm the one left babysitting my child Wow, that's such a South African man thing to say, babysitting my own child. But yeah, you know, if I wasn't around, I don't think it would have been smart for her to um, get a puppy because she would have had to be at work the entire day. So um, keep that in mind, okay? Keep the time commitment in mind. It's probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest things you need to think about. And I definitely, as much as I thought that I had thunk about it enough, 
I definitely had not. Something else I want you to think about is the financial responsibility, okay? If you are taking care of a puppy, understand, good girl, that they are expensive. From the food that you have to buy, the crate that they have to sleep in, or the kennel you're going to make them sleep in outside, the bed that they're going to sleep in. Things are expensive. The vet visits to get them their vaccines and all those things, grooming, even grooming supplies, are ridiculously expensive. I'm not going to lie. The dogs that I grew up around, I, I, I don't think I'd ever seen anybody ever sit, groom, or wash their dog. Like anybody, Ekasi, uh, washing their dog, I don't think I ever saw that a day in my life. But hey, this is things that we do now. Um, and so grooming can be very, very expensive, making sure they have the right shampoos. Also, dogs can get quite sick and they're finicky, they have allergies, they have this, they have that. So you have to keep that in mind. You might have a dog that doesn't like a certain shampoo and you've already paid hundreds of rands for that shampoo. So you have to keep that in mind. The vet visits for this guy, good girl, have been... Ooh, I don't even want to talk about it. I have like three pamphlets from different uh, pet insurances. Uh, I haven't called any of them because I don't know how I feel about money going out of my account every single month because someone decided to break their ribs or eat something they were not supposed to eat. You're being so good. I'm trying to teach her how to sit still and wait for me to feed her. So that's definitely something I want you to keep in mind is the finances uh, of having a pet. It can be really, really, really difficult on you. Um, I think I'm lucky because I have a partner also. But um, hey man, if you're a student and you don't have that kind of money or maybe you're just getting your first job and uh, you're making 7,000 Rand a month and you're basically making ends meet, I don't think you should get a puppy. I, you know, you don't need the most expensive things in the world the entire time, but I don't think that you should uh, get a puppy when you're not sure about your finances. It's just going to be extra stress for you, and you don't want to be stressed with a puppy that wakes up at 3 a.m. in the morning crying. It's just, it's not going to be a fun time for anyone. Sit, sit. Sit. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Another thing I want you guys to keep in mind is the fact that it is a long-term commitment. This puppy, this beautiful dog is going to be alive not nearly as long as I would love for them to be, but what, 15 years, maybe 20 if I'm really, really lucky. Uh, if I'm unfortunate, it might only be a couple of years because they get very sick. But other than that, it's a long-term commitment. You are stuck with your puppy for the next 10 plus years of your life. And you need to remember that. It's not a puppy for one year. It's not a puppy for two years, for three or four years, God forbid. It's a puppy for 10 years. It's a pet for 10 years, 15 years of your life. It's a long-term commitment. You are literally changing your life. I need you to think about it the way you think of if you were to get married. You know when you get married, you think, yeah, this is for the rest of my life. Think about it like that when you're getting a puppy. Uh, it's not something that's only going to be for the next three years or five years of your life. It's going to be for the next 15 years of your life. And I think if you were told 15 years ago that you had to do something that was going to be around for 15 years, you'd be like, that's a long time. So keep that in mind. It's a very, very long-term commitment. You're doing so well. Look at you not jumping, not running around, just waiting for me to feed you. So I know a lot of you live at home uh, or you live with other people and so there are dynamics involved. Um, I think that's something you definitely need to keep. Uh-uh, 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 come, come back, sit down. So that's definitely something you need to keep in mind is your family dynamics, you know. Uh, who's going to carry the brunt of the responsibility? Uh, me and my partner have di uh -uh. me and my partner have different responsibilities when it comes to her, who wakes up when, who feeds, who washes her, who does this and that. Those are things that you're going to have to do to manage expectations. Having a puppy is a buttload of responsibility. It is a lot of responsibility. Once again, as much as I thought that I realized, you know, I didn't want a dog for ages. My, my partner has been wanting a puppy ever since we literally got together. And I'm always like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I've always wanted a puppy too, but it's just way too much responsibility. Even though for years I have been like that, wanting a puppy, but thinking it's too much responsibility, I still was not ready for how much responsibility it truly was. It, yo, guys, it's literally your life. Imagine having a toddler. 
suddenly adopting a toddler because that's literally what you're doing you're adopting a toddler and so it is a lot of responsibility and you need to think about it in the context of the people you are living with of the people you are having the puppy with is it your puppy your puppy alone at home is it your pu- is it your family's puppy who's going to take care of the puppy who's going to take it out who's going to take it to the vet when it needs to who's going to pick up the poop who's going to make sure that the pee is cleaned up who's in charge of the training all of those things and enzo <laughs> All of those things need to be discussed. She's very frustrated because I'm not feeding her anymore. So those are the things that are like on the top of my head. I'm trying to think of like ad hoc stuff from the past month. She has been pretty relaxed in terms of training. We got her at about eight weeks. I promise you by 10 weeks, she was potty trained. This is not to say that she did not have accidents in the house, right? But she will literally wake up walk to the door, wait for me to open. I open the door. She goes outside. She pees. She does her business. She comes back inside. She's been doing that since, what, 12, 12 weeks, 11 weeks, which I thought was ridiculous. Walking on a leash. She listens to me 80% of the time. When I say, let's go, we go. When I say, let's sit around, we sit around. Even now, see how well behaved she's acting? Actually, she's just eating her own food. So, I wouldn't call that necessarily well behaved, but she seems very, very relaxed. Um, I'm very proud of her. She listens most of the time. She's very naughty, just like a puppy is going to be. But other than that, it's been such an incredibly rewarding experience that um, I wouldn't take back. She's starting to sleep through the night now, which is amazing even though for the past two days she's regressed a little bit i don't know why but um, i'm thinking of taking her to the vet today or sometime this weekend um because she's she hasn't been sleeping as well as she has the past two weeks two weeks ago she started sleeping throughout the night which was much faster than i expected so i was like thank you i'll take it i won't complain she's sleeping through the night past two days 3 a.m like clockwork she wakes up uh, but also throughout the night, she's constantly scratching herself and licking herself. And I know the licking is normal, but the scratching is just um, too much. So that's part of being a dog parent. You have to keep in mind all these things. Have they been scratching more than usual? Are they licking themselves more than usual? You're watching their legs to see, are they limping a little bit or are they fine? Every time she comes back home, she knows I turn her on the stomach and I rub it as much as I can to make sure that I can actually see what's going on under there because otherwise you don't see anything. She's just running around the house. You don't check the belly. Like right now, I'm noticing that she has red lines on her belly that she didn't have before. So I'm definitely going to take you to the vet today. You're scratching yourself too hard. So um, yeah, we'll see what the vet says. That's part of being a, 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 a pet parent. You're always kind of on the lookout for anything that happens. I think one thing that I definitely know is some of these guys, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to cover ears, they pass away, they die uh, very young. So um, I'm just trying to make sure that I am on top of things. Honestly, I don't know how people took care of puppies before the time of Google, took care of anything because the number of things I Google on a daily basis about how to take care of her, astronomical. I am more than keen to do a part two of this video with a couple more points. Maybe you guys have questions. Maybe we can do a puppy Q&A, something like that. So feel free to leave your questions in the description and um, myself and Enzo Mbanza over here will answer them in another video sometime. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was beneficial for some of you guys who uh, had questions about puppy ownership. But um, yeah, I know this was just very broad. But uh, if you have any more specific questions, I will answer them in the next video. You have one more vaccine coming and then we can take you outside to go make some friends. She's very keen to go do that. Also, she's teething. So that's why she's constantly biting that's something that's a whole video within itself puppy biting oh it is the worst thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you soon with another one i love you guys peace say bye